Hi guys and welcome to another video. My name is Deborah and this is the edit by DH. Today I will be reviewing the new collection and brand by Violette FR, otherwise known as the makeup artist Violette Sarah. And this is a collection that was brought to my attention by a good friend of mine who I used to work with in the makeup industry. Needless to say, I I saw the collection and in one moment I just knew I had to get my hands on it because it's just a very Parisian, very sophisticated collection. There's something about the Parisian look that I just really love and aspire to, just from the simplicity, but at the same time, it's very like understated, but bold. Anyway, so let's get stuck into it. So Violet has released a strong 11 piece collection. Now, rather interestingly, she has sort of redefined beauty in that she didn't want to create a beauty collection that had 30 makeup pieces in it. She went beyond makeup in creating a fragrance, in creating a hair care product, in creating a skincare product. So that was interesting. Plus, she brought out a lip, a liquid lipstick, which I will get into in a moment because I did get it but she only released one color now when you release one color that means you're very confident about that one color performing well working on different skin tones etc etc so I got the Bum Bum Milk the fragrance Avec Amour the Your Paint Matte so this is her liquid eyeshadows again we'll get into that in a moment and then last but not least obviously the only lip product that she released which is the Petal Bouche matte now i did want to get more i originally had gone a little bit crazy i had chosen quite a few of the eyeshadow colors in both matte and the sparkling options as well as the dry shampoo then i tallied everything up plus the taxes and the shipping nearly had a damn near heart attack and decided to remove some items so that's why i only got four but I deliberately wanted to get a little bit of everything so that you could have a look at some of her key products and see how they perform. So just quickly about the founder, Violet Seurat, if you don't know, she is like a very cool hip it girl in the makeup industry. She is French born, but Brooklyn based. She was the international makeup designer for Dior Beauty and the global beauty director for Estee Lauder. So she's got some huge titles under her belt. After working for different companies for like 10 years, she decided to create her own brand. What particularly drew me to Violet's collection is that she said she doesn't have a muse. She doesn't have a specific muse. She's not led by trends or trend-led makeup. She doesn't get inspired by things she sees on social media. She gets inspired by fabrics, by textures, by nature. More importantly, real women are her muses. And I really love that. That really speaks to me. And so she said every woman she comes across is somehow an inspiration to her. And some of these products were inspired by some of the people and women that she knows she admires and even her campaigns I think are led by everyday women so it's fantastic and that I, I really love that so let's get into it first things first I kind of just want to get to talk about the perfume Avec Amour so this is an oil perfume and this is the packaging very chic very simple I love the simplicity actually and it just kind of reminds me of a product you would get from perhaps like a French pharmacy, but like a respectable high-end one. So you open it up and then inside is the oil fragrance. Now, quick disclaimer, not everything is a first impression. So I will be very clear on what's a first impression and what isn't. So with the oil perfume and the Bum Bum Milk, they are not first impressions. The main reason that these aren't first impressions is for the purpose of this video. I wanted to have tried it out to give you a little bit more information about it. So I've tried the oil on. In fact, I've got it on now. I've applied it to my wrists and to my neck just to get a, a sense of the scent. So back to the scent, it is £50 for 15 ml of product. It's quite a weighty glass bottle. So it's, it's really nice. It's not the kind of weight where you would... It would weigh down your bag too heavily, but it's enough weight to make it feel expensive. It's got a gold cap, this beautiful blue glass bottle. And on the gold cap is what I assume is like a signature stamp for her. It's like a face. I don't know if that again translates on camera, perhaps a woman's face, I would imagine. So it's a screw top and then it's a roll on ball application. 
Now, I really love roll on board applications for traveling. So keeping in the handbag, it's the perfect size. Literally, you know, when ugh, I've seen those women that just spritz all over their body and their face, their armpits on the train, and it just sort of feels like it's intoxicating everybody. Whereas this is so much more discreet, very elegant, very subtle. You don't choke everyone half to death with it and you just apply it as and where you need it so it's described as a musky and soft fragrance it's got base notes of amber santal and vetiver middle notes of yang yang top notes of bergamot and it's best applied she said where you want to be kissed very romantic very french and she said that for her beauty is in mood Obviously, avec amour means with love, and she said it's it just helps you to be more daring. It creates this fun vibe in you, and it just helps you to fall back in love with yourself. And I really pick up on a coconut scent, even though coconut isn't even a ingredient. It's very musky, but it's not an overpowering musk like it is soft, like as it's described. I do like it. I wouldn't say honestly it's in my top ten of fragrances. But as you know, fragrances are so subjective and it's all up to individual preference. So this to somebody else could be their number one fragrance. I would definitely wear it again. So that for me in itself is a winner, the fact that I don't dislike it. Now moving on, I also have the Bum Bum Milk. So again, this is not a first impression. And again, it was purposeful because I wanted to try it on before giving you my overall verdict on it. Let me go into a little bit more detail. So the packaging is pretty much the same. The milk literally looks like milk, quite thick milk, and it's got a gold cap. Again, it's got that signature woman's face on the end of the lid, and it's described as an all-over cream spray. So the Boom Boom Milk costs £56 for 100ml. It's described as a moisture on the go and a souped up mist. You can just mist it on your face without any need for using your hands, which is one of the benefits of a face mist. But you can also massage into your skin if you want, I guess, deeper penetration of the product. More than anything, Violette wanted a product that would help with anti-inflammation. And so she decided to use a key ingredient of birch sap in this, which helps to bring down inflammation. It also has ingredients of glacier water, olive lead extract, and then the usual like glycerin, it's got sunflower seed oil, squalene. So this is the key difference for most face mists I think on the market is that it's a three in one. She's claiming it's a toner, serum and moisturiser. She says you can use it under or over your makeup as well as on the ends of your hair just to give it a little bit more zhuzh and hydration. And so this sort of bum bum milk, which is three in one face mist, was designed for people on the go with busy lifestyles. So I really love this concept and that's why it spoke to me. You know I'm a skincare enthusiast as well. I have tried this face mist. Now, I think it's preferable to use face mist on clean skin. And I deliberately tried it at night time on two occasions. So after cleansing my skin, I spritzed this on just to see how my skin would look in the morning. Sometimes my skin's a bit funny. It, depending on the product, it can be super oily in the morning. You know that morning grease, not fun. Or it can be very, very dry. So I tried this and it actually was quite hydrated, had enough suppleness in the skin, not too oily, not dry. So I don't know if that was like a one-off and whether I need to keep trying this or whether that's because the product actually is really good. So I'm just going to shake it and spritz it onto my face. Now, I have obviously tried this before. This spray is quite strong. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's like being gently slapped in the face with baby bird's wings. Okay, now that comparison is super weird, I know, but... <laughs> It's not a gentle spray. I'll just put that out there. But at the same time, it's not painful. But it can take you by surprise. It's a very strong mist. So let me just close my eyes and spritz it for you. It's powerful. You can definitely, it's like in your face. But that's why I compared it to a, a, a gentle slap by a baby bird wing. There isn't any fragrance to it, which isn't a bad thing. And is an all over cream spray, meaning you could spray it on the body. Like she said, you could spray it in the hair. So I really like that. So I'll continue to use it. If I suddenly have an adverse reaction to it or something happens, I will include it in the usual pinned comment update. Otherwise, if you don't hear from me, it means all is well in the land of the bum bum. 
Now let's move on to the fun part, which is the makeup. <laughs> so I obviously got the Year Paint matte and the Year Paint is basically like eye paint. That's what it means. And like I said, the, it's in matte and instead of saying sparkly, she says twinkling. So three matte shades and three twinkling shades, which I think is so cute. So there are six shades in total. This is what the Year Paint looks like. It's £27 for 2.79 grams. It's very specific. It's quite a small tube. And again, it's got a white lid and the gold facial stamp at the top, which always makes it look a little bit more expensive. So I got the colour Caramel Shod. And I think that means hot caramel. I just really liked it because I just feel like it could really work as a liner. It could work as a eyeshadow you can see how pigmented it is i think for today's look just because i do have the lip as well i don't want like a strong smoky eye and a red lip so i think i'll use it more like a strong liner more than anything else and go from there so just a little bit more about it before i apply it violet says it stays on it doesn't move you can use it as a shadow or a liner i told you it has six shades and it's interesting that she said that she was using matte liquid lipsticks on her eyes prior to creating this product. That's what inspired her because she finds that eyeshadow powders are a little bit too fussy. You need a brush with it. It's the fact that there's fallout. So she just wanted something really simple. You could use on the go. You could use your finger with it. You could amp it up on a night out. So that's why this was created. Obviously, if you have a wider surface area on your lid, you can afford to just go straight in with the wand, which by the way, is quite firm and long. So it's very long, can you see? If I used went straight in with the wand, oh, that'd be a disaster. So I'm just going to apply some to the back of my hand and use a brush with it to control and apply. So I'm just using the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eyeliner Brush. Let me see how far I get with this brush. I might switch halfway. So I've applied one liner, as you can see. I do have a little bit of a liner on, by the way, guys, but I use that as a guideline to put this one on top. Now, you can see on this one eye, it's applied so beautifully. I don't know if you can see the colour. It's like a bricky, browny, terracotta -y sort of colour, and it's gorgeous. It just gives a bit of a pop to the eye. So I'm just going to do the other side. I'd actually forgotten stupidly that I was applying eye makeup, so I applied mascara, which never helps when you're trying to apply eyeliner. Always apply liner first. But anyway, it was still so easy to apply, and honestly, guys, I'm so impressed with the colour. Like, this is a colour that I could easily wear day to day. It defines the eye, but it's not as intense as a colour like black or dark blue or anything like that. So I'm so impressed with that. And like I said, I went in with this smoky eyeliner brush by Bobbi Brown. I don't know if they still do it, but it's it's such a good brush. Now, I know it looks very simple, but like I said, I am going in with a red in just a moment. So with the Met Petal Bouche, this is really, I think, the product that's had the most buzz in her collection. So with the Petal Bouche, it's £24 for three and a half grams. So I would say in terms of liquid lipsticks, my favourites have to be... NARS, although they can be a nightmare to apply, or the more recent Pat McGrath Liquid Lust. They are fantastic as liquid lipsticks. So they're the ones I'm sort of comparing it to. So this is what the Petal Bouche looks like. It's in a clear tube, white lid again, very similar to the eyeshadow. And again, the end of the lid has that sort of face and stamp. When I open up Petal Bouche, ooh, that is a wand. I mean, nothing spectacular. It's just quite chunky and quite thick, which doesn't really help for defining the lips, but let's not prejudge. So now I've got something on my lips. I'm just going to take off whatever was on my lips and I'll apply this before telling you a little bit more about the product. So this is Petal Bouche. Now I can tell you already on camera, it looks a lot darker than it is in real life. It is a deeper colour, obviously. And what I did is I deliberately didn't do a perfect defined line because I understand in Paris to be a Parisian it's sort of like a soft diffused line and so I went in with a really tiny brush and just blended out the edges really gently to give that sort of softer diffused look now just a little bit more information about it it was inspired by black red rose and Violet wanted to mimic a velvet texture of a rose Hence why it's matte and yet yeah, the feeling of it. It's 
described as the deepest, most vibrant red. And it's also a vegan formula, which I understand is really hard to create for a red liquid lip. Apparently, it also took two years to make. And that's because Violet really had this image of an of a lip colour and texture that she's wanted as her ideal red. But every single time they came back with a colour, she just wanted more yellow in it, more, you know, red in it, blue in it, whatever. So to create the perfect colour in her mind. So this is the outcome of two years of work. Now, what do I think of it? When I buy a liquid lip, especially one that's red, firstly pigment. Now pigment, this has in heaps to the point where you actually have to almost wipe off some of the excess product otherwise there's far too much product on the ones it's good in a way because it will mean this small thing will last you ages so i was very conscious of that but there's so much pigment secondly the feeling of it so it's dried down to a very comfortable matte there was initially a sticky, a slight stickiness and that's sort of gone already but it's comfortable it doesn't feel heavy it also doesn't feel to drying like some of some of the NARS liquid mattes can feel. I also was a little bit worried about the wand that I showed you earlier because I felt like it might be a bit too thick but surprisingly it was easier to define or outline my lips than I thought just because the wand is very sturdy and I could use it to really control and go around my lips. And one other thing that I get really scared about with liquid red lips is in case it bleeds into my fine lines. And I do have a lot of fine lines around my mouth, which I've previously mentioned in other videos. And when I look at my lips up close, I can't see any of the bleeding, which is a win-win. I also think colour-wise, it's such a classic red. And I can definitely see what she means by the deepest vibrant red, because just looking at it like this, it looks deep it looks like a darker red but when you actually look at it up close it's quite a complex red and there is a vibrancy about it when I look at it up close as well it almost looks a little bit like the material suede I wouldn't go as far as saying velvet but definitely has that kind of blurred effect so it's a super pretty red and i can see it suiting so many people if a red a really bold red like this scares you then i would always suggest dabbing a tiniest amount and either using your finger or a flat brush to just blend it out and create a really soft red violet herself recommends using it where you apply just a little bit all over and then concentrate more on the edges of the lip so that you get that sort of diffused rose petal kind of look, which I can imagine would be super pretty, sort of like an ombre look, imagine. And then again, if you want a bolder look, I know I can go deeper than this. If I say went in again with another swipe, it would go even deeper and more intense as a colour. So really you can wear it in so many different ways and it's such a beautiful red, like I said, that would suit everyone. So I'm really impressed with this red. If you're going to do one colour, do it right. If it's a red, make sure it's a fantastic red and I do recommend this red it's probably become i don't know if i would say it's my favorite one just yet because i think i need to wear it a few occasions but it's definitely there in my top three i always try to film in natural light so right now i'm in natural light but then there's natural light and there's natural light so what i'll do at the end as always i will go into a little bit more brighter natural light so you can see the red in more detail so for my final thoughts you know i love the red hands down i would recommend it it's such a beautiful liquid red the boom boom milk i love the boom boom milk but with any skincare i would say it's something that you have to use over a period of time before really realizing if there are true skincare benefits to it i love the fact that it's anti-inflammatory because i think everybody suffers from it but i know i do suffer from inflamed skin so it's interesting to see like if i do get a flare-up how this would react to that. If my skin is particularly sensitive and red one day, it'll be interesting to see how it reacts to that. So that's what I'll be looking out for. Otherwise, as almost like a setting spray, my skin is looking so much glowier than it was earlier without highlight. And you know, I always love a good highlight. I, it, obviously partly due to the skincare I used prior to this, but also because of the Boom Boom Milk. So you can see how radiant my skin is looking. 
The eye makeup, the colour is incredible. I can't wait to try a full-on smoky eye look with this product. And I might experiment and do that on my Instagram. So on that note, if you're not following me on my Instagram, I always include my Instagram links down below. So please do find me and please say hello and that you're from my YouTube family. Last but not least with the fragrance, it's a very nice fragrance. Like I said, it's definitely not my top five. I just think that it's very summery it reminds me of like being on the beach palm trees your hair is a little bit frizzy from the sea salt and the waves and, ha and has that sort of wave that's what it reminds me of this scent i feel like if it's a too hot a day it could become slightly cloying but that's just my opinion like i said fragrance is so subjective now prices i've obviously given you the individual prices but i did just want to talk a little bit about my experience of ordering online so i ordered online on the website violetfr.com i believe it is i will also include that down below so that you have the link i think that's the only place you can buy her products from for now and like i said in my intro I initially went a little bit mad, added a little bit of everything before seeing the total amount. For the four products, they were £157 in total. Then they added taxes of £35.67, shipping of £57.05. So taxes and shipping alone cost me £90, pretty much, thereabouts. So it's expensive. And honestly, when I had more products in my basket, that total was even higher. So it's only <laughs> only got to nine, around the £90 mark just because I deleted products from my basket, right? That's the only thing that is a major put off if you want to purchase from her collection. Because actually her collection is relatively, I wouldn't say it's the cheapest, but it's not the most expensive. I think it's good value for the quality, if that makes sense. What could put you off is the taxes and shipping. An idea is perhaps buying stuff with a friend, halving the taxes and shipping cost, and then you can just split the products, you know, with whatever you guys purchased individually. But that's another way that you could go around it. So that brought the total to two hundred and fourteen pounds and five pence. In addition to that, after I had purchased it, it took way over two weeks for my products to arrive. I saw that a few of my friends were receiving their products and had got them before me. And I was like, hang on, what's going on? Is this normal? I then tried to click on the tracking link that they always provide. And it was pointless. It said that the number didn't exist or some, the number was incorrect. It seemed to have been shipped from Canada. So that was interesting. And then I reached out to the Violet FR team to just ask what's going on with my parcel. Could they provide me an update? Gave them my order number, all of that. And no one got back to me. So for a new brand, the customer service was a little bit shocking, to be honest. And for a new brand, you really have no excuse. You need, you need to be on it like hotcakes with customer service. I could love a brand. I could love a product, but I will not go back to that counter or that brand if the customer service is rude and shocking. I will not go back to a restaurant no matter how much I love my food if the waiter or the service is unacceptable. I will not go back because in a world where makeup is a very saturated world and there's so much competition, it's the brand that loses out if they lose a the customer because as a customer, as a consumer, we have the luxury to go anywhere. For me, everything about this brand being clean beauty, the fact that it's keeping things real, keeping things simple, back to basics almost, it's about real quality but kind of a fair price in my mind the fact that she's got muses that are everyday women the fact that she was sending out these emails that were describing her story and her the origin of her brand all those things just spoke to me and just built up this like anticipation in my mind and belly only to be then let down by the crucial where's my parcel moment you know so i think they need to sort that out I don't know if it was an isolated incident with just me or if that's their thing. I would hope not, but we shall wait and see. If they get back to me or if, if, if there's a relevant update, I will put it in the pinned comment down below as always. Overall, I do like the collection and I would be interested to kind of play around with more products. I am just very conscious of the taxes and shipping as well. So that's something to consider if you do want to buy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this collection and this review. 
please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already thank you guys so much for all the love that i got on my last video i really appreciate you guys and i will see you on the next one take care of yourselves Walking on fire, trying not to bend my feet. I'm tired of fighting, saying things we don't need. No, I don't like it. When you're packing your back and turning your back, calling me. Butterflies in my stomach, butterflies in my chest. Heartbeat like a